his time and stick it over the bar or even go on with it it was a brilliant piece of play look at that for a great catch and he'll kick himself when he looks back at that when he'd all day then when he settled himself to put it over the bar and uh, you know Galway they probably need one or two more they're not home yet Colin Dumford coming on for Jamie Barron who have given absolutely everything but right now that's the scoreboard just on your television screen 25 points to 21 25 points to 215 yeah. Patrick Kern is coming on another star forward and the player that's going off is Kieran Bennett yeah they're going to push up I think man on man now and uh, Galway will get a lot of room here now in the, inside in the full forward line and will they get a goal chance referee again wanting the puck out to be taken as the substitution is explaining that the substitution hadn't actually fully taken place Stephen O'Keefe changes his mind and goes down towards the Cusick stand linesman indicates that it is a Waterford ball 65 and a half minutes 29 year gap waits Michal Dunahill and the people of Galway is it about to end Austin Gleeson capable of putting this over the bar it's dropping in it's dropping to the right and right and just the last few chances Marty that Waterford had you know Kevin Moore had a great chance there uh, earlier in the half fucked it wide he fucked another one wide Austin Gleeson there just at four or five when the pressure's really on and Galway now just to be feeling one more point you know put them five up it would be very very hard for Waterford to get back forward they're still in it Puck out by Colin Callanan. Shane Fives goes up for it. Doesn't gather it cleanly. Gone back is Kevin Moore. Trying to get away from Johnny Cohen. Two against one here. Good work this time again by Brian O'Halloran. Brian O'Halloran is fouled. Like Ty Jaborka, Clash Moorman in the middle of the field. Waterford are not giving up. But they need a score badly they need a score they're back to three if Park Manning can put this over that was great work by Brian O'Halloran there was two Galway men around him a little bit of hesitancy there from Garrod McInerney and then popped O'Halloran won the ball and won the free nine times he scored in this All-Ireland final hits it well it's gone to the right and wide when you think of Austin Gleeson's sideline cut Park Manning's Three going wide. The momentum again swings to the west of Ireland. Can he produce something? He's thrown people like Colin Dumford, Maurice Shannon, Tommy Ryan, Patrick Kern all on to try and change the trend, the tone of the game. Puck out. This time dropping deep into the Waterford half of the field. Knocked away on this occasion. Referee gets in the way. Conor Mannion chips it up but uh, comes instead for us Austin Gleeson being challenged by Connor Cooney and the referee is giving a free to Waterford in the middle of the field the yellow card is I think for slapping across Austin Gleeson there Connor Cooney gets a yellow card 68 minutes Four points between the teams. Porig Manning. All eyes from Waterford watching this as it sails between the posts for his 10th point of the match. And it's back to three points. Yeah, and fair play to Porig Manning. He'd missed the previous one. He's had a brilliant game for Waterford and showed brilliant nerve there to put that one over the bar Walter still right in this there's going to be four or five minutes injury time allowed for all the substitutions so there's loads and loads of time for Waterford Shane Maloney is going to be introduced for the Galway captain David Burke Shane Maloney who scored that winning point in the All-Ireland semi-final in 2015 against Tipperary very talented hurler he waits for the ball as the slither is pucked down into the Waterford half what a catch now, Burke. Well, I'm sure he was disappointed for being dropped for the starting 15 when Johnny Glenn got his place. But my word, Niall Burke has contributed since being introduced. Uh, absolutely brilliant, Martin. Yeah, that, it was a big call, but 
you can work it both ways if Johnny Glynn had come on would he make he'd make a different sort of impact but he wouldn't have that scoring threat that maybe Niall Burke has and that you know obviously a little bit of pain being left off as well and you can see that in the determination of both himself and Jason Flint since they came in once again Joe Cannon will concentrate on the free score of 8 points heading towards the 70th minute the roar on Hill 16 says it all 26 points Galway 216 Waterford back to 4 points again 4 minutes of additional time 4 minutes for glory 4 minutes for history this match is historic in every sense as I said at the beginning with a capital H it's a free end for Waterford can they produce something as we are now gone past the 70th minute yeah and I think we praised Fergal Horgan he was having a great game I can't, again I think that free looked very harsh to me again I thought it was good defending by the goal as they had their arms out they were disciplined and uh, he gave the free a bit of a Hail Mary I think been said there but Tariq Mahoney he'll know there's a few minutes left he'll just stick this over the bar and bring it back to three and when it's three points you're right there Tariq Mahoney this is his 11th point of the match now 70 minutes 49 seconds Derek McGuire knows for the three point game they have a chance can they produce something urging from the Cusick from the Hogan from the Davin from the Nally hearts and hopes of the people of Waterford and Galway await patiently the heart pumping once again we've stalemate just inside the water for the half of the field Tied to Burke trying to scoop it up referee says there was a pull it's a free for Waterford if you thought the tension was bad around 3.30 trust me at 2 minutes past 5 it's almost unbearable well, this is going to land right in on the edge of the small square Austin Gleeson dropping it in oh. just to the right of the post Marshall and can't control it. Ball is wide. To Martin Sin, tucking that wide. It had to be landed in around the square. They can hardly watch until they see themselves on the screen here in football. What is that about? Ball dropping down into the water for the half. Gone forward is Connor Coonan. Cuts it in, but the ball is wide. Six wide in a match for Galway. Yeah, he's out around the middle of the field. Uh, David Burke's legs were gone, I'd say. Ball gathered by Garod McInerney. McInerney steps forward. What an athlete, just like his dad. Giving it out for his Aiden Hart. Under a little bit of pressure. There's nobody home except Dara Fives. Gathers it. Has the time to look around, see who's available. Colin Dumford it's the last charge a minute and a half left still Colin Dumford full of the jersey referee says play on Shane Five steps inside can they produce something out of this ball over to the far side there's a little jig there's a bullet of a shot stopped on this occasion Bahi Burke lays it off for his John Hanbury pushing forward is Tommy Ryan John Hanbury that is it ball bobbling all over the place out comes Porrig Mannion Mannion bursting forward looking for the free lays it off and the ball, ball is fixed into the water and half of the field and then try again try once more Niall Burke tied to Burke ball is loose and available referee's whistle is blown it's a free up for Waterford Conor Cooney didn't hear the whistle neither did I to be honest with you but I was able to see Conor, see the referee indicate it's a free to Waterford yeah a little bit of a clash of legs there and Ball trying to hold it. This will be Waterford's last chance. Great passage of Peter. Just watch here. Just a little pull back. Can they get a ball in? Can they get a chance to draw it? 73 minutes, 48 seconds. 12 seconds left in the All Ireland final. Can you bear to watch? Can you hear the roar? Because it's coming all the way from the west of Ireland. Are they about to win the All Ireland hurling title for the first time in 29 years? They've won the Allianz League. They've won the Leinster Championship. We're on 74. That's the magic number. 
Wherever you are right now, Tony Keady, I know you're smiling because Galway will rejoice like never before. Is the famine over? It's, it's over! Galway are the All Ireland champions 2017. Can you believe it? The heroes of 1988, Sylvie Lamar, Connor Hayes, Pete Finnerty, Tony Keady, Michael Coleman, Joe Cooney, Pat Malone, Anthony Cunningham, Humber McGrath, Brendan Linsky, they have now in Galway got new heroes, new heroes that begins with Colin Colum Callanan and ends with Carl Mannion. Joe Canning, who has served his county well, finally wins an All-Ireland medal. Marty, unbelievable, and uh, just Tony Keady, Marty, I'm, you know, I have such time for the man, and you know, I'm trying to keep you know that half time there with looking at the looking at the piece on him there. It's so heartbreaking for him and his family, and uh, it's just look whether it was Waterford or Galway today. What it means to both those guys. I'm looking over here at John McLean. He's heartbroken, and I'm heartbroken for the people of Waterford, but I'm delighted for the people of Galway. That's always the way it was going to be today. And uh, well, so said, what an occasion! I know, Mike. What an emotional, emotional day! It's very emotional day. I have to say. It's been some, some match. The full-time score in Croke Park, Galway, 26 points, Waterford, two goals, 17. Back in 1980, the great Joe McDonough, another great Galway man, sang here on the steps of the Hogan stand, the west away. So no matter where you are, in Baha, Gort, Loch Ray, Ballina Slough, New Inn, Ahaskra, Fohenna, Oramore, Maori, Gort, Tullamore, wherever you are, you can now rejoice because Galway are the All-Ireland champions. The West is truly awake like it was when the great late Joe McDonough sang it here. Yeah, Martin, they did it with great style in the second half. The first half was cagey as we thought it would be. Galway had a great start. Waterford got a goal against the runner play to keep them in it. But in the second half, David Burke, you know, Joseph Cooney in the first half, Niall Burke, Cahill Mannion, Conor Cooney, Jason Flynn, you know, some brilliant scores and some heroic defending. And Waterford, you know, uh, Brilliant year for them, but you know they're going to be just. I I I just can't describe how disappointed uh, they're going to be. It's been such a long wait. It's heartbreaking for them, but it's Galway's day. We have to give the credit where credit is due. They were there in 15. They were there in 12 in the replay. And Michal Dunro came in and probably just added that little bit extra. Brought that man management style. Gave the players more responsibility. They responded. And look at great year for them. They were the most consistent team all year. They've won the league. They've won the Leinster championship, and now they've won the All Ireland. So congrats to Galway. And look at. Heartfelt commiseration towards the great.